Um, well, let me just say who I am. My name is, well, today I'm Larry Goldman because I'm being taped. And uh, this is my bedroom. And at present, I'm not feeling well. Uh, I have something which I think is a virus. Um, I don't know what this is going to be like. Of course, I have ideas because I've been thinking about this for some time. And I think, in a way, it's a big thing in my life, and maybe it isn't. And, you know, it's not really easy. You know, just there's really no one here to talk to. So it has to all come out of my own mouth. And, oh, I was looking through my city college, city college catalog. And, well, yesterday, when I was at the cafe floor, I was deciding to be a business major and take accounting classes. But there's a lot of guilt feelings about that, saying like, well, you know, um, you, you, you're not really an activist, but you do have um, all semi-radical politics. At least you think you do. And what are you doing being an, an, an accountant or an auditor? But on the other hand, I said to myself, well, you could be an accountant or an auditor for a, um, um, oh, a collective because this is San Francisco and like, um, all these, it's, it's a place where almost anyone could set up a business, you know, people who, who even have the right politics. So I could work for them. But on the other hand, I really do want to work for a big corporation because um, I guess a lot has to do with power, and it's probably even a sexual thing. And um, also, well, because there's a lot of dirt that goes down in a corporation, and like the, the accountant really has access to that dirt. And it's sort of like, you know, I could sort of know what's happening and sort of be quiet on a job on the same time. Well, anyway, that was yesterday. But today I was thinking of, well, first I looked at medical assisting. And I like that, except in the catalog it says that I have to do things like give a hypodermic needle. And it's just something which I, at this point in my life, I find very difficult to do, to stick a needle in someone else's veins. I can't even do it in my own veins. And I know you pray when you practice, you practice on oranges or some other type of fruit. But I don't know. And then they had medical records, but then I had to take that same class. And I don't know if you're going to take care of the records, why you, you need to um, um, know how to stick a, you know, a needle into someone's um, arm. And finally, I thought of nursing. And a friend of mine has become a, well, he was thinking of being a nurse, but now he's something else. And I thought, why not? I really feel that at this point in my life, I want a career. You know, I don't want to think anymore. I mean, I'm not going to stop thinking, but thinking is going to be like, you know, my total way of life. Yeah. And I just want to go to work, do my job, come home, and maybe go out and see a movie or maybe make a dinner or something. I won't be able to make such big dinners. Not that I've been making big dinners now. Take a shower because I'll need something to refresh and of course smoke a joint. And things will be much easier. Of course, I'll be doing the tape still, I guess. Um, I'm not going to say is this what I really want to do because I've been through this so many times. But it doesn't feel the same as it does now. It's not that I'm saying, like, I've really discovered that this is it, that this is going to make me a complete person. No, but I feel like, I feel like, well, I had my freedom for three years, you know, and I've, well, I've done a lot. I've traveled. I've been to Guatemala, Mexico, back to New York. I've been into a literature class with other gay people. Um, I've read um, the gurus and what they had to say and did meditation, the yoga trip. Um, what else? I've done a lot. I just can't remember it now. But anyway, I've done all, those, all these things already. And I feel like there's a part of me that just wants to settle down. That's tired of like, it's one o'clock and saying, oh, what am I going to do? Um, well, I could go to the gym. But then on the other hand, I could be, it could be one o'clock and I'm in a corporation and I'm saying like, oh, I have to go back to work and like, you know, figure out tax forms. So maybe there's no way out, I don't know. But I'm going to do it because I haven't done that yet. And whatever's new always seems exciting in the beginning. And what prompted this on, of course, was that last week I worked for one whole week. And that's why I'm sick. <laughs>
took my books with me and went to the cafe floor and I was, I got my coffee and I think I may have had a, well, the coffee was almost finished and then one of the owners goes over to me and says, would you like to work? I was just caught by surprise and I said yes. You know, I thought at that point, say yes. You know, opportunities come and say yes. And I said yes. Um, anyway, I bust. When I first started busting with this guy, I really felt bad that it was not enough work because I just didn't know what to do with myself. You know, um, I stood, I just stood, you know, waiting for dishes. Well, that didn't last long because in the daytime it just gets so crowded. It was all these dishes to do. And I don't particularly like working the dishwasher, especially on hot days. Then I've only worked on hot days anyway because this was my only day. I see my job as service. I like, like I don't bitch about the people. If I bitched, you know, when I, if I bitched about the people, it would be because I need to bitch at someone. It's, the, it's these people's fault that I have so much work. They would stop, you know, don't all come here at one time so I could rest. You know, so it's not their fault. It's just, you know, um, that there's just so much work at one time. Because people, they all have to come between 12 and 2 to eat. When I take the dish, you know, the um, pan, the, what do you call it? The bin. Okay, the bin. No, it's not a bin. The dish. What's the word? I'm lost for words. The dish something. Carried around. Okay, the dish something. Okay, and you have to put plates in there. And, like, I really don't put that. I put it in, but I don't put a lot in. Because, um... I had to work late today because, well, one thing, that my, the two people who cover me, um, one woman was in a, went to the hospital and she didn't call up. I figured, well, maybe if I was going to the hospital, well, I would call up because I sort of, you know, there's a bond, which is what I like. I like the bond of working. I like the way I feel with, my, with the other workers. And it's a good feeling. It's like, I like working on a job. I like my time used working and I find working at least working for like you know someone else like I really feel like I'm working on working for a job and I'm working for someone else you know I could say like I'm working to the extent that I'm working on my body I'm reading but there isn't that motivation as it is working for someone else also earning my money I like earning my money you know and like I mean is that right on who cares it's what I like which is all that really matters you know, and it feels good. I think it's good that I'm in a situation, because I go to cafe floor every morning, and I've always felt good about that place, still do. And here I am, you know, trying to make these people feel good. Because I, I think it's good if you have a place to go to, you know, that's outside, where you can be with other people, mingle, you know, um, have good food. The food is good. Um, I never, while I was, um, while I went there just for coffee, I would never order anything else. I always thought it was a rip-off. It was too much money. But um, if I worked, if I had more money, it would probably be less of a rip-off because things are only rip-offs by how much money you really have. I don't know if there's any standard. Um, it's time I'm a worker there now. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's still a rip-off. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe even the owners think it's a rip-off. Who knows? Does anyone have a clear conscience about what to do? It seems like, I'm just a, from past experience, it seems like it'd be a real drag <laughs> to have to work and go to school at the same time. Oh, that's right. It's drag. Oh, it's terrible. I don't know. I hope I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Maybe I, I'm not even... There's so many different angles. It's like, how long is a nursing program? Three or four years? Two years. Two years? Yeah. But that's. Mm. And I, I, could work, totally I could work around it, you know. I could take classes at night, so I'll be able to work during the day. Yeah, but that's. Well, oh, you're really pushing yourself when you do something like that. I know. I don't want to think. <laughs> I just want all my time taken care of. <coughs> like I think I'm real strong, and you know, I gotta identify with like you know, being. Um, 
goal oriented. You know, goal oriented. I'm working. I'm working. I'm going to school. And I keep up the house. I'm gonna try to work on my body and you know, so you get all A's. <laughs> well, some B's, of course. Super Larry. No, I don't think that's, yeah. And sometimes it just gets too difficult to, like, you know, think that I just take what comes my way. Like, when he said, do you want to work? It was like, well, I haven't been working and I'm not happy, so maybe working will make me happy. Excuse me. Hello? This is Larry. Hi, how are you? Mm, I'm tired. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just came back from my first day of class. Oh, it was awful. <laughs> just really awful. Yeah, quite bad. Well, as good as I expected. Uh-huh. meet at the same time. Monday is a good time from two to three. Which means I'll be seeing you the Monday after Labor Day. The 13th. Mm. 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 Okay. All right. Okay, have a nice vacation. Bye-bye. Mm. That was my shrink. <laughs> I have a French class tonight. I don't really look forward to going because it's two and a half hours of being in one room. Oh, I don't know. What am I getting myself into? It's like I was just sitting here before and thinking, boy, if I had no class, I would be so nice just to relax. But now I have to start getting ready for class again, and it's the same old routine. Things don't change at all. So it's like when I was taking classes at State two years ago, or taking music classes last year. I always did not want to go to class at night because it was just, ah, uh, to get ready for the next thing. And, well, this time I'm not going to be a prisoner of it. What, I guess my comfort comes first. But then, I guess the reason I did take class is that my nights were just so boring. I hate school. And I don't, know, I don't think I want to go back again. I don't like sitting in a classroom all day. I don't like having to go to school and come home and go back there again. I don't like waiting for classes to end. That's what I do, I wait for the class to end. That's what I think of school. Except they're nice. They're, I, met, I meet some new friends. So that makes it worth it. I met a new gay man. I, I'm sure he's gay. And we met at the class. And we spoke about antiques and about traveling and Guatemala and shirts. And I was sort of attracted to him. And we looked at one another. And that was the best thing about school, meeting new gay men. And the women I've met. What do you do with all your new money? I don't know. I have less of a... Um, not spend it. I spend less now that I have more. Because I know how easy it is to spend it. And I know how I don't... My, also, I don't spend that much money because... Um, it just doesn't turn you on. That's what I do. No. Because, because I have more time occupied. And I just don't spend money to like amuse myself or entertain... or to get by with time. I don't need to be fed that much. You know, I get fed working. I came home this morning depressed. I'm depressed because I'm trying to become part of a clique. And I see myself trying. And almost trying too hard. I know and when I've try to become part of groups, then I have become part of groups, that it just happens, and that there's no need to force myself. And the click is the employees of the cafe floor. And the problem is, is that 
I don't know what to say to them yet. I can't even carry on conversation lies on that social level yet. I worked a double shift yesterday from 8 in the morning to 7 at night because it takes care of what am I going to do. I spend less money, I smoke less cigarettes, um, I just work. I don't think that much. I do think lots of times I, when I'm all alone, empty, you know, emptying cups of coffee down the spout and into the dishwasher, I look at myself. I see, I see a picture of myself. And of course the thought comes to my mind, am I really happy? But it's so easy to snap, that thought could just go away like that. If anything, out of sheer exhaustion, I'm too tired to entertain those thoughts. Whereas with idle time, I mean, those thoughts are my lifestyle. Just let me talk about the party. Well, I thought the party, I'll either make it or break it, to coin a phrase. Um, well, the day before, I was just sitting there, and nobody was talking to me, and like, I was, I just sit there, and I feel like this, this person who takes up space, you know, I really don't know what to say, and I haven't really, you know, I didn't really get into any routine yet, and people will talk to me, but then after a while, they'll, they'll go someplace else, or they'll talk to someone else, and it's really very, um, it makes me feel sad, and then I went onto the dance floor, and then I started loosening up. And then I really loosened up. I mean, I really got into dancing quite well. In fact, at that point, I was conscious that I was showing off. I'm saying, like, well, I could dance, and I really am loose if you give me the chance. And I was. I got some applause. Everyone noticed me. Um, it's what I wanted. You know, I knew that people noticed me, and I knew people knew I was showing off. But I guess that's what it's all about. So, and then we all went out together, and I was making jokes. And everyone laughed at me, and I was a life at a party, and... I guess I sacrificed my integrity, but, you know. And now everything's back to normal. I still have to try hard to be heard. <laughs> Why is it that I have to work my fucking ass off? I mean, they could have a big, well, they can't have a bigger dishwasher because the space is limited, but they could have two people. But, you know, they, they all, I guess they're into the game that, you know, Let's see how much money we could make. You put out as little money as possible and you make the most money. And that's what it's all about. And I'm just this person, this thing, that does these chores to make the owners rich. Of course, you know, I knew that in the beginning, but now I really feel it because I'm really seeing how nonsensical it is. You know, why can't they just have another worker? Or why can't they have a bigger place, you know, you know, then I, I said, well, you know, I thought of socialism, of course, you know, do we have places would be met, I mean, they would build places to meet the needs of the people, the workers who work there, you know, they'll have a big dishwasher, because they don't want the workers to work their fucking ass off, because, I mean, one of the, my superior, Leo, says, you'll work your fucking ass off, you know, shit, why can't, you know, this other guy work nine hours, I work nine hours, you know, and like he's a strong person, but not all of us are as strong as he is. You know, I don't know if that's what I want to be, to see like you just drain these workers, you know. You know, until there's nothing left, you know. And I was thinking, does that make a better person? I mean, what does that do? It makes me tired. So, I, you know, I, I never expected miracles. I'm happier than I was when I was not working. You know, I'm not thrilled. Um, you know, a lot of times I'm even more upset. Um, but I saw two rainbows yesterday, so did everyone else, and it was pretty to see two rainbows. I have clothes, look how nice I dress. <laughs> and 
I could basically do anything I want to do. But the whole thing is, I don't want to do it now. You know, like, oh, another movie, oh, a play. I guess the main thing I really want is to really become part of the in crowd still. I hate that expression. Become, or to just slip in and out, not to be so self-conscious that, you know, are they accept me or are they not accepting me? But I'm sure eventually it's just going to be, you know, it's just going to happen if I don't quit or arouse them. And if I should, who cares? You know, the way I look at it is that, you know, I couldn't, I didn't want to play the game, you know. I did it, um, I didn't fail, I didn't, you know, succeed, I just, you know, did it. I don't know, I had enough real, this is getting too trying. I chose not to fit in then. I chose not to always be a social personality. I chose to be myself. I chose to say things which, you know, may turn them off to me. You know, the game of, you know, I, I don't really care if you accept me or not. It's more important to be what I really am. It's more important to like, you know, um, yeah, be what I really am and not, you know, put on a whole act. And I just, I'm doing it because I want to see what it's all about. That's what I was thinking before, because I want to see what it's all about. I have to hurry up and go to work now. They're waiting for me there. I want to be there. I want them to all see what, how nice my clothes look. I want that entrance, you know? Well, you know, shut up. Oh. Feel it. That's what I want. Recognition. Mass recognition. People that love me for this one. Is it love? I don't know. I'm tired of defying things. Okay, now you sit there. <laughs>